Listen, there's just things, and, and what we're going to try to demonstrate here. Are you scared? Are you scared? Are you scared? Are you scared? My last youth pastor said, you just want to make the youth pastor so you can embarrass me all the time. <laughs> what we're going to try to demonstrate here is there are things that we do not understand. We don't understand why Jesus would say, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. We don't understand why he says the meek will inherit the earth. We don't understand these things. But there's things that we just absolutely do not understand. But we have to go with it and just trust God. No, no matter what. Now, come on, let's, let's demonstrate this, okay? Come on, that, that's yours right there, and this one's mine. You ready? Stand right here, Pastor Leslie. We don't hurt ourselves. All right? You ready? On three. One, two, three. Okay, somebody hollered it. What is this? Okay, this makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. <laughs> A young person would want to go out in the community, and in fact, I feel the blood rushing my head right now. I don't know. I don't know why they won't do that, do you? Huh? Are you comfortable? Are you okay? You got the bigger table. How'd you break that? Oh, that was all that. That's right. Hallelujah. This makes no sense whatsoever. I don't know who ever came up with this, but I'll guarantee you right now, we just connected with some young people, didn't we? Didn't we have me? Huh? <laughs> you know we're going to be on YouTube, don't you? <laughs> Let's pull in. Facebook is going to have time with this. I got a little more authority than you. I'm going to tell them that they have to, like, like, Photoshop me out. <laughs> Remember all those things you've done to me and put it on Facebook? Quinny <laughs> <laughs> fingers back. No, 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 no. <laughs> The point, did you, are you okay? All right. All right. You know, Pastor Les was standing over there by Pastor Rudy. He was afraid to come over there. I don't know why. I'll tell you what, Pastor, go ahead. Let's do some planking, Pastor Les. Come on, right here. Right here, man. I think you're supposed to look as much like a board as you can. Yep. Is that what it is? Okay. I don't understand why we would do that. But, but there's a reason for it. And that's the same way it is in Live for God. When you go through the Word of God, I promise you, there are things here Jesus is trying to teach them. He said, blessed are the poor in spirit, empowered and prosper. Are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. You may not understand that, but you just understand that by God's grace, here I am. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. You may not understand that, but I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to let the compassion for the lost come inside of me anyway. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. I don't understand why I have to become meek when I just want to be violent. I, just want to, I don't understand why God wants to make me gentle, but okay. And then verse number 6, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, the Bible said, for they shall be filled. Those that hunger and thirst after righteousness. And look at verse number 7. The Bible said, Blessed are the merciful.
merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Jesus is teaching Christ-like character. He's telling the disciples, you have to become merciful. You need to become merciful. God showed mercy on us, and the Bible said His mercies are new every morning. To be merciful means to be actively compassionate. Compassionate. In one sense, it means to withhold punishment from offenders who deserve it. But in a wider sense, it means to help others in need who cannot help themselves. To be merciful. The Bible said, blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy.